Hi, welcome to another edition of Easy Theory. So we just finished talking about the acceptance problems, which are of the form A sub something. And we saw that all of them were equivalent. DFA, NFA, and regexes were all equivalent because we can just convert from one to the other. I want to talk about a different type of problem, which is called the emptiness problem. And there's a very good re there's several good reasons why I want to talk about this. So the emptiness problem has, instead of A sub something, is E sub something. And so I want to talk about DFA in this case. And we could talk about E sub NFA or E sub Rex, but as we saw with the A problem, we can just convert from one to the other, and that doesn't change anything. So if we can solve it for the DFA case, then we can solve it for NFAs and we can solve it for regexes equivalently. So uh, what is this language? Well, the A language had uh, encodings of machines and strings together. Well, here what we want to do is we're going to have single machines only. So no input string at all. It's just the machine itself. And here M is a DFA, obviously. And the language of M is empty. Okay. So I want to test. So the goal here is given a DFA, check if it accepts anything. Okay, um, so I have a DFA right here. I just want to know, does it accept any string whatsoever? And this is actually pretty important, as we'll see when we talk about equivalence later, but uh, we want to solve this problem. So how do we actually do this? Well, obviously, if there, if let's just say the start state's right here, and if there's a sequence of transitions, these could be repeating states at some point, but let's say that there's some way to go from the start state that leads to a final state somewhere. Then what we can say here is that the language of this machine is not empty because uh, there's some string, I don't know what it is, but it leads to a final state somewhere. So what we can do then is we can just check if there is a state reachable from the start state at all. And that's actually how we would solve this. So uh, on input, so let's make a high level description here. On input M, so here it says M, not MW, because it has to match the language above. On input M, where M uh, is a DFA. So what is the first step going to be? Well, if you think about it, uh, what we're really testing here is whether or not this start state can actually reach any final state whatsoever. So what we can do is just take note of all possible states that are reachable from the start state as is. So let's keep track of all states reachable from any number of transitions from M's start state, whatever that's called. And how do we actually achieve that? Well, there are a number of ways, but one way is we can use breadth first search. We can just look at all the states that are one state away and then ones that are two states away, etc., and stop when we can't reach any other states. And that clearly will take a finite amount of time because there's only a finite number of states to start with. And we can, uh, at each point, it only take a finite amount of time to see any one state. So there are only a finite number of states and only a finite amount of time to visit each one of the new states that we will ever see. So this step takes a finite amount of time. And all that we need to do then is check if any final state is in this list. Okay, So if there are any final states in this list, then importantly, if there is a final state in that list, then the language is not empty. So we have to be really careful in this case. So if so, there is a final state in this list, then we need to say no, this language is not empty 
we're trying to solve the emptiness problem here. And so we want to say the opposite answer, not the same answer. So here we need to reject. If there is a final state in this list, then the language is not empty. And so we should say reject. No, this thing has not empty language. And otherwise, which means that there are no final states in this list, uh, which means therefore its language is empty, we will say accept. And that's it. One thing to note here is we can't just say here, um, we can't say uh, check if M has any final states. We can't make that check. We got to check for reachability. Why is that the case? Because if we just only check for if it has final states, there could be some final states that are not reachable whatsoever from the start state. And then we would get a different answer than the one we actually wanted. So, but of course, uh, this step takes a finite amount of time because there's only a finite number of states in that list. And so we would just need to check if any of them is in the final states, which again is a finite set. So that's easily done in finite time. This one's done in finite time, obviously. So the whole thing runs in a finite amount of time. Note we had to do the exact opposite answer, but that allows us to show that E sub DFA is in fact decidable. So hopefully that was interesting. Leave your thoughts or any questions about the emptiness problem for DFAs down below. As always, please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps us out. There are many other links in the video description if you want to support the channel further. I'm currently doing one-on-one -on -one tutoring, and my email is in the video description below. So if you want to schedule something, it's there for you. And as always, I'll see you next time.